towards achieving its objectives. And COP28 will serve as the first global stock take since the adoption of the agreement. This conference, therefore, presents a unique opportunity for us to review the effectiveness of our adaptation and mitigation measures, climate financing, and our country's nationally determined contributions with the aim of updating such nationally determined contributions. Excellency, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, regrettably, this conference comes at a time when the climate crisis keeps worsening, when we are told that we are gradually moving from global warming to global boiling. And the Women and New Africa Women and Children Conference. This year, ASNS launched AFRO, as we call it, and it has been lauded across the continent and beyond because of the theme, especially for this year's event, which was amplifying the voices of women and children in the climate action. Women and children are disproportionately affected. But before now, we have not had such a numerous platform that is speaking to their issues. It is my pleasure at this time to welcome Excellency the Second in the Republic of Ghana, in the 
and underscoring the importance of moving beyond rhetoric and translating commitment into tangible actions. Afro also participated in the Africa Climate Summit in Nairobi, Kenya, where we engaged in discussions and exchanged ideas, knowledge, and experiences towards the implementation of our community actions. Consequently, together with the UNDP, we are facilitating the participation of 100 youth from across the continent to participate at COP28 in Dubai. On Tuesday, 21st November, Afro also organized a pre COP28 youth event and a youth climate dialogue and education exhibition. This event brought together many young leaders from across the continent who engaged in discussions where they voiced out their perspectives and concerns and shared innovative ideas to collaboratively address climate change, sustainable development, and gender related issues affecting women and children in Africa. It also provided an opportunity to showcase innovative climate solutions developed by young Africans. After all, has ignited a spark, finding the flames of a shared passion. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click on the bell for more updates.